Let me tell you about Frayn Selick, the luckiest man in the universe. In 1962, a train he was on fell into a river, and while 17 people drowned, he was amongst the ones rescued. The next year, on his first and only flight, the door malfunctioned and he fell out, and I kid you not, fell onto a haystack, presumably one with no needles in it. The plane ended up crashing and killing 19 people. Three years later, a bus he was on skidded and fell into a river. He survived. At this point, probably having had enough of public transport, he got himself a car. That worked for a bit until 1970, when his car caught fire while driving. But he managed to escape just before the fuel tank exploded. I always thought fuel tanks exploding was a myth, but I guess not. In 1996, he swerved to avoid a head-on collision with a United Nations truck and ended up going off the side of a mountain. Luckily, his car door flew open and he managed to jump out and grab onto a branch while the car fell into a gorge. Oh, and the previous year he had another close encounter with public transport. He was hit by a bus but got away with only minor injuries. I guess you could vacillate anywhere between calling him the unluckiest man in the world and the luckiest man in the world. But an incident in 2003 proved that he was squarely on the extreme right of the luck spectrum. He won a lottery for 1 million US dollars. And he wasn't like a lot of lottery winners who end up going crazy, spending all the money, getting divorced and bankrupt. Our guy bought a house, a boat and gave the rest away to his extended family, which must have been a lot of people because he had five wives. He didn't have them all at once, don't worry. I think that would have been illegal. Definitely not something a stand-up guy like Frayn Selick would do. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey Sira, I didn't know this was a little known facts or a listicle channel like Cracked. Where's the science? Where's the tech? Where's the idle speculation? And to that I say I hope you've warmed up. I hope you've stretched your hamstrings because we're about to jump the shark all the way into the quantum realm. Now, according to Everett's many worlds interpretation of quantum theory, every single possibility is actualized. The universe branches into many paths every single instant. What an instant is is a different question. Maybe Planck time or every moment when someone makes an observation? I don't know. Anyway, so there exists multiple universes with multiple frame selects. And if you take all the frame selects from all those universes and put them on a spectrum of luck, it'll probably look something like this. A normal distribution. We can see here that most frame selects have about average luck. Some are terribly unlucky and some are extremely almost impossibly lucky. Now, in a lot of universes, frame selec no longer exists because let's face it, one of those accidents took him out. That means we can safely assume that we're not living in any of those universes where Frayn Selick has bad average or even above average luck. Only a small number of universes support the incredible luck that he's had. And these are the universes where he's more likely to win lotteries, have five presumably attractive wives, etc. So there's your explanation. Now, how far will his luck extend? He's 90 right now. That means in our universe we have pretty good odds that some kind of life extension technology will mysteriously emerge over the next few years followed likely by anti-aging technology because if our Fred Selick is indeed the guy who's at the extreme end of the luck spectrum he will continue propagating into the future as long as possible so what about you my dear viewer is your luck already written in the stars are you one of middling luck or someone near the bottom end of the normal distribution i've got some bad news for you In a simulation carried out by some Italian physicists and economists, they tried to make a computer model of how talent and luck affect your life. They simulated 40 years of work life of agents with varying combinations of luck and talent. Before presenting the conclusions, let me just say that the results are only as good as the modeling. So I'm linking their study in the description below so you can assess it for yourself. So, here's what they found. In general, mediocre but lucky people were much more successful than more talented but unlucky individuals. The most successful agents tended to be those who were only slightly above average in talent, but with a lot of luck in their lives. So screw hard work. Spend your entire life accumulating rabbit's feet, amulets, and four-leafed clovers. Of course, with your luck, there's no saying you'll ever find one. So, can we learn anything from all of this? Well, one, Frayn Selick is probably immortal. Quantum physics allows this. Every time he gets near death, some combination of events will conspire to keep him going. Also, this is a frame cell universe. We're just living in it. 
So if you have any issues with our current leaders, various events happening around the world, or the human malware that's currently doing the rounds, take it up with the unassuming music teacher from Croatia, Frayn Selik. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, and start a conversation below to get more videos like this in your recommendations. I wish you the very best of luck in the days ahead. Bye.